What is up everybody, this is Chlorine, coming back for a war recap. I know these haven't been too, um, I, I know there haven't been a, minute, a lot of these. Quite frankly, again, our wars suck. Um, not one of these guys broke 90%. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, this one I, I wanted to show because we had some really nice triples. I'm pretty high on some higher bases. So, it's this one against Sakara. Um, as you can see, we, we crushed him. But, that doesn't matter. Looking at this war, um, this was interesting because we ran four Tonal 11s. Six tunnel tens, and then the rest tunnel nines with a couple tunnel eights, and this was the first time I had all six of my accounts in. So chlorine, shadow, Bob, Van, Evan, uh, Crow, and Light are both tunnel eights that I run, but I usually don't war with them because it's just too much. Um, and then and then Silver Crow was back with his tunnel 10, so that was exciting, and I coaxed Mephra into coming, <laughs> coming over here, and also we had Alinas, so, and Burton and Andy, so it was, it was a party, man, this war was a lot of fun, um, even though the enemy didn't put up much of a fight, plus we got 69 stars, so, you cannot argue with that, looking at their side, we picked up, well, we doubled these guys, look at this, 93, 83, 94, very close to some triples, um, just couldn't pull it off, that kind of sucked, but we did get one tunnel 11 triple, which I will show, and this one, which I tried to triple, I did something dumb, which I don't want to show, but, um, yeah, I'm still trying to get used to tunnel 11 attacks, this is my first war back, so, I am back for good now, um, unless they come off level 50 heroes. Looking at the rest of these, we, this was a dip. We got one 10 on 10, two, two 10 on 10s, um, and these are just all tunnel 9s. Tunnel 9, as you can see, I don't, we didn't need any dips. We needed one 9.5 attack from Bob, but their bases were not anti-free, so pretty easy one for us. Um, jumping into this first one, Burton, my boy Burton. Second more bag with the sexy 45 heroes. And this is just a ring base. He's just going to come in with his kill squad. That's six, five or six bowlers and wall breakers. Uses the ridge, uses the wall breakers, and puts the early ability, which he told me is to preserve the wall breakers, which is pretty smart. And then poisons the clan castle, and he gets pretty far into his base. Um... Queen is going to take down this dragon, and at this point, he's just got this Laloon. Um, phases Queen, and she gets that Inferno. Looks like the Expo, and probably the Tesla. I don't know why he hasted her. I think that was probably a misclick. Um, but then he, then he puts in these balloons and just puts quite a bit of them, about half up top, and the other half on the right side. He's just gonna haste him in and freeze. Look at he—he he got so much value for that freeze. He could have even even gotten the expo. Um, and then rages those balloons over the dangerous defenses, so that's good. Just haste spells. His base is pretty wrecked, as you can see. Just brings all these haste spells. Um, I've been noticing town eleven, especially people really like bringing haste spells or clone spells. Haste spells is just because you have the, the level 7 loons, you can just use haste over rage. And you can get twice as many of them. And then for the clone, um, I'm starting to realize people don't bring enough loons. And so they like to drop a clone spell on some of their loons that make it to the center. And that just makes a whole barrage of loons that just take off the center. So once I get my, my clone spell upgraded, I'm definitely going to try that. But it's only level 3 right now, so pretty bad. He's just got minions and lava pups, so I'm just going to fast forward. 
taking out a ring like a boss and nice town hall 11 triple for Burton so I will show this one next by killer coming in against town hall 10 looks like he's well, not quite max defense but I mean decent um, he's got the the Inferno Towers in the Expos, so, um, he's got the ones that really count, Ugh. and he's just gonna start a Queen Walk, got that, look at that, sexy healers in the clan castle, healing that bowler, <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure he wanted those to target the Queen, they're just too good, I mean, that bowler won't die, <laughs> but he has to use the Queen because of that, um, I probably wouldn't have taken a bowler in that situation. If you're going to bring healers, bring out archers so that they'll die by a mortar or something. You don't have to deal with that. But anyway, he's going to send in a golem and some wall breakers. Got these witches down. And his queen set the funnel. He's, he brought the queen back around. <clears throat> and now he's just got all these witches. Um, just going to, he's got two jump spells. Perfect funnel. Got witches going around. He's got a whole bunch right here going in. And the heal spell. So, jumps of the first Inferno. The big reason this attack worked was because the second Inferno was single. So, that was a good um, good job looking at that and taking advantage of that. So, he just heals. Heals in the core. I don't... Yeah. I don't know if I would have healed just because... Well, usually witches, I would rage over heal, but... Um, just in case there's bombs or anything, heal is always a never a good option. Um, as you can see, Inferno, single Inferno, really can't keep up with all of these witches, and his queen is just going to take all of these defenses, so he's got the one super bowler still alive. <laughs> Looks like his healers died, but that's pretty legendary. Looks like it's going to stay alive a whole raid. So yeah, he has three witches down on the left, which if you're going to do a go witch attack, I find that three witches on each side plus three bowlers on each side is about what you want, and everything else goes up the middle. And he just finished it up, finishes it off. Um, I didn't check the time, so I don't know how close he was, but he does swag the queen's ability, so that was nice. I think that was one of his first attacks with 40-40 heroes, so very nice job to Gary. Alright, that one was a dip. This one was an attack by me. Um, I'm not going to take all the credit because Mephra attacked first and came up with a plan. He just didn't bring cleanup and came up a little bit short. Um, and then Bob hit it. Bob again <laughs> didn't bring cleanup. And so Shadow hit it, which he brought cleanup, made sure to bring lots of minions. And so he's just going to use this natural wall right here just to funnel his troops down. Just go down like that. What that's going to do is take out the Inferno Tower, take out this whole chilling at base, and create a clockwise um, Lalun pathing, which is ideal for this base. So rage early, keep those bowlers, um, just get them to take all of these extra defenses. That's what they're for, is trimming the herd so that the queen targets the ones that matter. And now the queen... Just took out the dragon. Got these loons, late loons, which is a little bit of annoying. Um, but all the defenses are gone at this point. So I was able to um, not, I didn't need to use the loon here. Real risky on my part. That was pretty stupid. <laughs> John Bomb almost takes out my queen. But now that she's dead, I just start the la loon from bottom right side. And I'm just going to haste these loons in. Haste the initial loons in. This Tesla. Really annoying Tesla. This is the last Tesla up. It's none of my loons path here, which is annoying. But I have these loons going around in the clockwise pattern. Freeze the Inferno and the Wizard Tower, which is a pretty good value for that. And I decided just to haste into the Inferno. Theoretically, you would want the Rage. I wanted to see if I could swag anything, so I tried the haste. And then at this point I realized, well actually, yeah, I didn't want to take any chances, which I, that was, yeah, I could have swagged, um, so bad Evan, <laughs> but 
But yeah, I already have these minions going. Get those minions down ASAP. Do not wait till all of the defenses are down. Get those minions down because oftentimes in these raids, Falloons move so slow and it's just going to kill you. So I do get a nice split here on the looms, and I'm just going to fast forward as these pups and the minions clean up. I have enough pups, and with the 8 minions, they are able to get it done. I think I saw it 30 seconds, so not really a close raid, but took a couple tries to get it. So now that that one is done, I want to show Tunnel 9. Um, I have no idea... Uh, what these guys bases were like so I'm gonna try to find one that's kind of anti free start and... Ooh, perfect okay this base is an anti free star base um, not the greatest it's a YouTube base but it's better than a lot of other bases so I'm just gonna show this one these wood walls like what's this guy doing I have no idea looks like he just jumped in a lot of these guys heroes were really low which is not ideal for triples so you could tell you can always tell with two star clans because their heroes are like level 10 or under for max tunnel nines so what i like about this one is um silver sends in this valkyrie it's just gonna tank slash do some dps really helps take care of those enemy heroes and now he's got this baby um really nice funnels really nice funneling on his part so everything's gonna go in um he doesn't even have a jump spell to get over um he's just gonna allow loot. i'm guessing he's gonna start from the top but yeah cc comes out has the poison for the loons and the dragon will be history he's got a lot of dragon targeting defenses specifically the baby dragons just gonna melt that dragon um and at this point does in the lot of from top so i was right it's just because it's away from the sweeper and he's just gonna work around this base um he has a rage of heal and five haste so obviously he's just got a whole bunch of haste i don't think he used anything on his kill squad so just gonna haste haste around this base and absolutely crushes it so very very nice job to silver Got these hounds still up, and gosh, is he trying to swag here? I did not watch these raids, so gosh, he can, if he swags all of these spells, he's gonna need to use one for his back end. I'm guessing he'll use the rage. What are you gonna use, silver? Heal spell, haste spell, ah. Uh, Man, those balloons move slow with level 2 haste. Yeah, I would have used the rage. And you wouldn't need to use the Everest, but look at that. Swags, 1, 2, 3, no, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spell spaces. He tripled that guy with literally um, 4 spell spaces. And that's including what Clan Castle, so absolutely wrecked by Silver. Great job, as always. You're doing awesome. And I'm sure that was to make up for his tunnel 10 because he didn't do great on his tunnel 10, but obviously it was his first war back, so he's going to do so well. I'm pretty excited to see what Silver can do. Um, I think that's going to be the end of this war recap. Just a quick just a quick war recap on this war um, against this... Oh, right, right from Indonesia clan. So... Nice red line in their warlock, and we are going to, for this war we're in, we're against this clan, Marinians, Marinians, um, I, I don't know how I feel about this one, they have two Town Hall 11s who are engineered, no Inferno's, nothing, so, and they have 18 Grand Wardens, so those will be, obviously, very, very annoying but these heroes 30s um none of them have anything none of them has 40s whatsoever we have three guys um only tian hung has a 44 and a 45 everyone else has 45 so we're gonna big time outnumber them on the town hall 11s and i'm hoping that will be enough to overcome these 
Um, hopefully our Tunnel 10 anti free star bases hold, and hopefully our Tunnel 9s hold. So this one will be probably a little bit funner, but just because of those two, and for rest will be pretty boring. But yeah, I this was never a worry cap. I'm sorry for all the boring wars, guys. We are. I do want to set up arranged wars in the future. If you have a clan you want to get into an arranged war, just message me at Chlorine Chrissy on Kick. Um, but it would be a lot funner to do arranged wars than all of this farming wars, because these are pretty boring, honestly. So we're just waiting till we get a little bit better heroes. I want to say four out of our five top tunnel tens are still upgrading. So once they hit near max heroes, then I will definitely start setting some stuff up. Yeah, um, as you can see, my warden isn't max Ivers, so that'll be nice to max that out too. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Not really a quick word recap, but I just wanted to show some of those sick raids. Um, and I hope I hope we uh, match a fair play clan soon, because these farm wars are driving me crazy. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you in the next video.